<laughs> G'day folks, it's time for another episode of the One Bit Git with Owen. Today I'm spicing things up from my Duke Nukem 3D playthrough. I've just finished recording two of those. And we're going to have a go at a Game Boy, well, a Game Boy game that I actually had uh, that brief period in high school where I had a Game Boy Pocket. Uh, so we're going to play Pocket Bomberman. Now, I can't remember where I heard it said, one of those far more popular YouTube retro game channels, but um, the idea that, look, if you've played one Bomberman game, you've played them all. And you know what? That's pretty much true. However, what I like about Pocket Bomberman is it takes on more of a side-scrolling platformer aspect than the original ones. Um, so we're going to play through a little bit of that. You'll see what I mean as to how it's different, as opposed to the top down. So without any more carry on, let's just get into it, shall we? Okay, so look, there's an intro. Now, this has two game modes. Normal game mode, which is what I was talking about before, and jump game, where you're constantly jumping. Uh, we'll start with normal game. I'll play it for a little bit. Uh, that was the back button, apparently. There are passwords available. So we're definitely not getting through all these today. This is mostly just to show it off a little bit. And my Game Boy Pocket, of course, had the monochrome, well, three, uh, four shades of green rather than actual colour, which is nice to see it in colour. So, see, side-scrolling platformer, jump, but you've got bombs that work in the Bomberman way. And if you need to get up higher, you can, ooh, you can jump on top of the bombs. So that's the exit door. That opens when you defeat all the enemies. I think some levels you might have to get kicked. It, to be fair, it has been a literal decades since I actually played this game in full. Now, I think there's some um, good power-ups in this level, so I'm not going to run through the exit door just yet. Ooh. The wooden sand will slow you down, the roller skates speed you up. But we... When we see the exit flash up like that, that means that there's no more monsters. There can be environmental traps that will do you in, though, so you've got to be careful with that. So these shaded areas are bomb-proof, basically. See, I can't place bombs there. power. I think the most power you can get in this game in terms of reach is four. Bomb proof best. I'm not sure if that makes you invulnerable to actual touch of enemies, so I'm not going to risk that. Let's just get out of here. <clears throat> this was quite a fun little game to have on Game Boy. Nice degree of challenge. And again, it's uh, different from what you what you would rightfully expect when you hear the term Bomberman because they are largely the same. This reminds me, I haven't quite finished Bomberman on the Saturn yet. Ah, uh, no, I uh, on my actual proper Saturn. 
Japanese satin because cheaper to import that. Um, I, I think I had like one boss left to go. I'm saving it on my uh, game cartridge, external game cartridge. And it got corrupted somehow, so I had to basically wipe the cartridge and lost a lot of games. That was the only one I was really... Well, wasn't too upset, I mean, it's just the game. But that was the only one I was most upset about, really. I was almost finished. I don't think my Seeger Rally times that I lost were anything... Excuse me, anything great. Ah, now this is the remote. I think with that you press... Yeah, you press the select button to actually set off the bombs with the remote. Remotes in Bomberman are always handy. Especially for boss fights. So there's five areas uh, with five levels each. The fifth one being the boss level. So we've got one more to go here. Might just see how far we can go with one game, huh? Oh, right. Remote. Ah, so there you go. Uh, invulnerable is invulnerable. Including enemies and environmental hazards. There we go, we found that out quite accidentally, but from what you know. Okay, now we're good to go. Where's that exit door? Alright, we're up to the first boss fight. Having the remote makes that way easier, of course. Let's see if we can get some. Oh. Yeah. We got an extra life as a result. Woohoo. Have we lost a life yet? No. One world clear. Ocean. Can't trigger bombs when you're trapped in the waterfalls. I don't remember if there's actually score in this one. Uh oh. Oh no! moments where you're like, oh shit, you, you put that bomb down and you're like, fuck. <laughs> so I've lost my remote, got to remember that. Oh. But, there's one up there. Thank you. 
My dog is going off with the new neighbors because of course she is. So you max out at four belt bombs and four power in this game, so there is that. Now we don't have the exit up yet, do we? There we go. I'm not even going to bother with these power-ups, seeing as they're worthless to me at the moment. Ah! Willow! Oi! Shush! Freeze. It's going to get wasted while I'm stuck. Hmm. Rather than risk it, I'll come in from this side. at full power. Ah, now the wings. You keep tapping to fly. Straight it to your death. Oh, Icarus! It's kind of like the opposite of Icarus, I suppose, because rather than flying too close to the sun, I was underwater and flew too close to the... Stalag... Tight? Ooh, last life. Okay. Ah, okay, 
Okay, so we can take a hit now. Let's go down and get that hopping clam thing or whatever it is. Ah! Haha. <laughs> Got him. Left. Is there a fish? Okay, there's a fish. Can I get him from the top? Oh, there's a fish in here after all. Very good. Hopefully, we can at least get through the second boss. I do like to try and show you folks as much of the games that we play as possible, but I don't get too hung up about it. I don't recall ever promising complete playthroughs. Oh, maybe once or twice when I actually did complete playthroughs. Looks like... Oh. Oh. Looks like the um, flying power-up disappears after the level. Bit annoying, but oh well. There, I suppose. Ah. Oh, okay. Level 5 boss. Let's see if that flying thing still works. No. I think that's the end of me. Yep, game over. Okay, I'll just take a screenshot of that. In case I want to come back to it later. And if anyone wants to jump into the uh, second level boss on Pocket Bummer Man, away you go. Uh, I'll quickly show you folks, what are we at? Yeah, we've got time. We can restart and I just want to quickly show you the jump mode, which uh, where you're constantly moving up. Eh, it's a bit of fun, bit of variety. I'll just show you the easy one, so hopefully I finish it. So when you're ready, you press start and you just keep jumping. Uh, except now in jump mode, because you don't need a jump button, um, 
what was jump is now the trigger for your remote control bombs. So you got to hit the dudes floating across the top there a couple of times to get yourself through. Ah, uh, keep going for the select button. So you don't necessarily have to defeat all the uh, monsters in this, you've just got to defeat that uh, boss character at the top of the screen. Uh oh, no, 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 don't hit destroy. There we go. And up to the next section. There's three sections in each of these. Smashing through as many as I can while I've got my invincibility flash going. You only get one life, which adds to the challenge, I suppose. But um, the score in that one. Well, folks, a uh, bit of a different uh, take on the classic top-down bomber man. I uh, hope you folks found that enjoying. I remember uh, enjoyable. Yeah, I remember quite enjoying having this for my Game Boy Pocket back in the late nineties. So usual YouTube stuff, of course. Like, share, comment, subscribe, uh, hit the notification bell. Feel free to dislike the video if that's more of a thing. And um, yeah, we'll see you in the next one.